for diversified crop insurance services. This is your concur user guide for the adjusters and the QC specialists. In this presentation, we are going to go over how to log in to concur, what is on your dashboard, and what is in your overview for your expense page. We will learn how to create a new expense report and the procedures and processes that it takes to create your report and get it submitted successfully. We'll also talk about how to resubmit a report if it's returned to you for correction. We'll talk about the email notifications that you will receive. And we'll also go over a small portion of how managers approve once they've received your voucher. The first screen you will come to when you log into www.concursolutions.com is a login screen where you will put in your username and your password. Your username will always be your first last name at cgb.com. If you're a new user, your password will be welcome1. Once you have entered this information, you'll be instructed to change your password. Also on this screen, you will notice that there is a forgot your username and forgot your user password that you can use to reset your password in the future. The first screen you come to once you have successfully logged in is your dashboard. Your dashboard gives you an overview of all of the information that you have and where you can navigate through the site. Um, we have arrows that indicate information that you will find on this dashboard. Number one through four, clicking the corresponding numbers allows you to access the information displayed. For example, number one points to start a report. This is where you will go when you want to begin a new report. Number five navigates you to your available receipts that, you ha that have been uploaded. Number six navigates you to your available receipts. And number seven will expand the company note window so you can see what, has been, what information has been placed there. This is also an overview of your expense screen. If you notice, up in the right-hand corner is your report library. This will show all of your past reports. Again, this, this screen is numbered and has arrows pointing to the different information. Number one, click here to begin a new report. Number two shows you what a return report looks like. You will need to make the needed changes and resubmit. Number three shows that a mes the message that's dis displayed providing information on why the report was returned. Number four shows you the status of a report that is in process. Number five, this box allows you to upload receipts stored on your computer or you can drag and drop receipts in this window. Number six, this displays receipts that are ready for your, for your, for your use. Once you're ready to create a new report, you will come to this screen where you will give your report a title. Your report name should be, a, should be labeled by the period of time your voucher covers. Example, December 1st, 2016, to December 7th, 2016. Your expense should be vouchered in a timely fashion. As a rule, should not be older than 45 days old. You may place whatever details you feel necessary in the comment box. Once you have entered this information, simply click Next to continue with your report. This is your expense type screen. Number one shows you the name of your report. Number two, number three, and number four are all different ways you have to start an expense entry. Number four shows the list of expenses categories that are available for you. Number five, this delete button will delete your entire report. Do not touch this button unless you want to expose, dispose of this entire report. Number six is to submit your report. Send the report for approval when you're completed. Number seven. Available, re available receipts. We'll split the screen and show you available receipts from the upload. Entering expenses. The upload button will allow you to add receipts from this view. Receipts can also be added by me emailing them from the email address in your Concur profile to receipts at concur.com. They will appear in this window. You may have to use the refresh button to see anything new you have loaded. These are some helpful hints that explains on how some of the drop-down menus in Concur work. Every drop-down menu in Concur has a specific list that you must choose from. You can either select from the list that shows up or begin typing the first few letters of the information you would like to find. 
The information will appear in the box below. Simply click on, click on it to select it and make it part of your entry. There's also a quick expense feature available to you. Using the quick expense tool allows you to add several expenses at once. Enter all desired items and descriptions. Once you're complete, click Save to, to move on. Once you click Save, your screen will appear as such. In this screen, add the additional details needed for each expense type. The buttons at the right-hand corner of the page will allow you to allocate claims, attach receipts, or itemize. To add one expense at a time, type in the box labeled Expense Type or double click on any expense type option displayed in this window. Your screen will appear as such and you will be able to add details as necessary. Click Save once you have completed. Please make notice that everything with a red line on the left hand side of the box means that field is required. That information must be entered in that information must be entered for you to move on with submitting your report. The new item will appear on the left hand side of the screen once you click Save. Once they appear on the left side of the screen, you can edit as necessary by simply clicking on the item. To itemize a hotel bill, you can either select the second tab at the top marked Nightly Lodging Expenses or select the Itemize button at the bottom right hand corner of the page. Your, your screen will appear as such. Fill in the details for the hotel bill and click Save Itemizations at the bottom of the page. Number one, this small square in the corner of the box is a calendar that allows you to select a date to populate the field. Number two, the small arrow in this drop down box will allow you to select the expense type. Number three, save the itemization. Once you have added itemizations, the small arrow will display all items listed. You can use this arrow to hide or show the details. It appears as an upside down half triangle. Allocating claims. To allocate an expense to a claim or claims work, click the Allocate button at the bottom of the page. If you only have one number, one claim number to report, you can simply enter it on the page displayed. You will need the Allocate button when you have more than one claim to allocate. This additional screen will appear once you have clicked the Allocate button. Number one, you can use the Allocate by button to select the claims to be allocated by percentage or dollar amount. Number two, add new allocation. Each time you click this button, a new line will be created. You may add as many claims as necessary. Number three is to add to favorite, allow you to create a template to use if you have a set of claims you will need to record again in the future. Number four, each box can be edited to allow you to record different information. Example. Different claim numbers are possibly a crop health claim instead of MPCI. Click Save at the bottom of the screen when completed and your information will be stored. You can also allocate multiple claims at once. By check marking several items at once, you can delete, allocate, or edit the same information to all the items at the same time. Simply uncheck the boxes once completed to end the task. Example. If you had a meal, mileage, and lodging expense that needs to be allocated to the same claim numbers, you can complete the allocation simultaneously for all the items that have been checkmarked. To allocate claims to an itemization, you will need to click on the box of the itemization. Use the drop-down arrow to display the additional details. Attaching receipts. Receipts can be attached from either the available receipts you have stored in Concur or from a file on your computer. To attach receipts from a file on your computer, check mark the item that you would like to attach the receipt to, and then click the Attach Receipt button at the bottom right. Number one, select Browse. Number two, two choose the location of the file where the receipt is stored in your computer. Once the file is highlighted, select Open. Next, 
click the Attach button and this, the receipt will be attached to the selected check marked item. Once you select Attach Receipt as previously demonstrated, you can check mark the receipt to attach it. Click the Attach button, the receipt will then be attached to your item. You can also attach by using the Available Receipts feature. Simply click the Available Receipts button at the top right hand corner. It will split the screen displaying all available receipts. Once that split screen appears, number one, check mark the item you want to attach a receipt. Number two, click the green icon on the desired receipt and it will be attached. Number three, upload additional receipts stored on your computer can also be uploaded in this mode. Once you have uploaded an additional receipt, see, click refresh for it to appear in the box. It can now be attached to an item. Meals and entertainment expense types will add the attendees option on your display. Your name will automatically be added. All attendees listed on the receipt should be accounted for no matter their status. Their name and title should be included. To add additional names, select Advanced Search. Once you click Advanced Search, this window will appear. Number one, select the employee type you want to search. All employees you have previously used will appear here along with all DCIS staff. Number two, type in the first, last, or attendee title to search, then click Search. Your options to choose from will appear in the drop-down menu. The new attendee button will allow you to add additional guests that cannot be retrieved by searching. They will become available in search once you have added them once. Once the name you want to add appears in the search results, check mark the box and hit add to expense. The name will appear on the display screen under your name. You can add as many attendees as necessary. You can also use the, ta the favorites tab to add attendees. You have several options on this screen. The search attendee screen is accessible from this view. Favorites will display attendees most likely for you, for you to use. Recently used will give you access to attendees you have had most recent. At the bottom of the page, you can also access the new attendee screen as well. If the name you are searching for is not available, select new attendee. This window will appear. Add the details for the attendee, then select Save and add another to continue adding additional attendees until you have everyone from your receipt added to your report. When complete, click Save. There are also several icons that you should be aware of that affect your information or allow you to take time and pause. Small round icons appear with each item giving you easy access to details and warnings. Hovering your mouse over the top of each icon displays the information contained within it. The first icon in yellow is what you will see if you have a missing receipt where one is required. If you have allocated claims to an item by hovering over this round blue circle, you will see the claims that have been allocated to that item. The small round box with a square in the middle indicates that there is a comment on that specific item either by you or an approver. If you hover over it, you will be able to see all comments. The small blue circle with a picture of people on it will also show your attendee list in the same manner. A small square with a check mark indicates that there is a receipt attached. Again, if you hover over it, you can also see a copy of the receipt that's been attached. The red circle with an exclamation mark is called a hard stop. This hard stop warning indicates that the report cannot be submitted until the flag is corrected. Make sure that all required forms, all required boxes have been filled out with the appropriate information. A small yellow triangle, this is a yellow flag exception. This is just a caution and will not stop you from submitting the report, but ask you to take pause of the information you are adding. Deleting an expense. Delete an item, check the box next to the item, and then click delete. You can also delete several items at once by highlighting more than one box. Drop-down boxes. The drop-down boxes give you access 
and detail to the information in your report. To display the options, click on the drop-down. A list will appear. Once you click on an item in the list from the drop-down menu, a separate box will appear with the detail. The audit trail is useful to find out who has looked at your report or made modifications. Example, if your reprover had viewed your report and sent it back, you would see that information reflected here. Click close when you are done viewing. Another important item in the details drop-down menu is comments. This will allow, this will show all comments made on your voucher by all parties. If a report is returned to you, the corrections and the reasons will be displayed in this box. You can also add comments in the comment box. The receipt drop-down menu gives you options as shown. You can review your receipts in different formats, add receipts or documentation to your report using attached receipt images. The print slash email drop-down menu will allow you to create a copy of your voucher that appears as shown. How to submit a returned report. When a report has been returned to you for corrections, it will appear on your dashboard. The header appears in red and says returned. It will state the reason why it has been returned. Double click on it to open. Make the needed changes and click submit report. This will return your report to your manager for approval. This screen shows you emails that you receive in your email box as your report works through the process. This email receipt is received when your manager approves your expense voucher. The second email is received when your expense voucher is approved for payment. When your voucher is returned to you, this email will be sent. Notice the status shows sent back to employee, and approver's comments will indicate the reason. Manager approval instructions. Your Concur dashboard will indicate that you have vouchers that are waiting for your approval under the Requires Approval tab. Once you click on the Requires Approvals button, this home page will be displayed. You will be able to see how many reports that need approval and from which employees. Click on the one you want to look at and the report will open. The report will display all items for reimbursement and the receipt. If the report is accurate, select Approve at the top right corner. If the report requires correction, select Send Back to Employee. For another to approve, select Approve and Forward. Once you click Approve, this final confirmation will appear. You will have the option to accept or decline. If you accept, the voucher will be sent to accounting for approval and payment. These are email notifications that you will receive as an approver. You will receive this email notice when you have vouchers to approve. The second email will be sent if the employee recalls their own voucher. This has concluded our beginning information. We would also like to make you aware, if you're not receiving these email notifications, it's possibility that they are being sent to your junk mail or spam inside your email. Please make sure that you check this junk mail to make sure that Concur is not sending your emails there. If they are, please right click on any one of these emails and tell us that this is not junk. In the future, all of your emails should arrive to you correctly.